Statomic is a platform to build beautiful and easy to manage websites. Statomic's core features are designed to handle everything most sites need with no plugins required. Custom fields, collections, forms, search, navigation builder, live preview, user management, real-time collaboration, and taxonomies. Statomic is a modern PHP application built as a Laravel package and has the same server requirements as the Laravel itself. To manipulate images like resize, crop, etc., you will also need the GD library or image magic. To run Statomic 3, you will need a server meeting the following requirements. These are all pretty standard in the most modern hosting platforms. Check the installed version of PHP, and if it is installed, then install the latest version of PHP and all required PHP modules on your system. Moreover, install Composer using curl command, as it is also an essential requirement for the Statomic. Make sure to place Composer system-wide vendor bin directory in your path variable, so the Statomic executable can be located by your system. Now it's time to download and install the Statomic CLI installer using Composer. The downloading and installation takes a couple of minutes. Once the Statomic is installed, run the Statomic command to check the installed version. To begin with, kickstart a fresh new Statomic project. You'll even be given the option to start with one of the ready-made starter kits. Navigate to the newly created Statomic projects directory and run the project by using the PHP Artisan Server command. Visit the given localhost address with the specified board number and have a look at your Statomic project. Congratulations, it is running as you expected. Now it's time to log into the control panel. Wait, first you need to create your account. Now we can create a new super user and sign into the control panel. Run PHP. Please make user from the command line, inside that new project directory, and follow along with the prompt, such as name, email, etc. Be sure to say yes when asked if the user should be a super user, otherwise you'll just have to do it all over again. Now log into the control panel and enter the required credentials. And we are in! This is the magnificent dashboard of Statomic. From here, you can read the documentation, create the collection, create a navigation, enable tray mode, and create a blueprint as well. Now let's click on Collections and get some of the content of our choosing to show on the home page. And you will see an empty home page entry waiting for you. Click on the entry's title to edit it. Type anything you want in the content field, and then click Save and Publish. If you visit the URL again to see the updated content on the home page, you will not find anything yet. The reason is that we haven't updated the code yet. In your code editor, open the file resources slash view slash home dot antlers dot html. This is the home template. Any view ending in the dot antlers dot html will be parsed with Statomic Antlers Template Parser. Delete all the placeholders HTML from the template and replace it with any content. Refresh the site now in your browser and you should see your content in all of its glory. To present the updated content on the homepage that we edited in the dashboard, we have to bind the content variable in the home dot answers dot html file inside the pair of curly braces. Now refresh the URL and it will reflect the changes. Now let's understand the concept of collections and entries. Collections are containers that hold groups of related entries. Each entry in a collection might represent a blog post, product, or anything. Each entry has a title, a published status, an ID, and some content. By default, 
they are stored as markdown files inside their collection's respective directory. Blueprints are also the essential components in Statomic. Your entries will have a basic set of fields, such as title, markdown content, slug. There are 40 plus included field types to help you design intuitive content management experiences. You probably noticed that there is some very basic styling going on. That's coming from the layout file. The layout file can be customized. It is placed inside view folder. You can replace it with your desired code. After replacing it, refresh the URL and the change in styling will be reflected on the page. To set up and create the navigation, create a new entry, write the title or page name, fill other desired fields, and click on Save and Publish button. Using the same procedure, you can create multiple pages according to your requirements. The order of the page is changeable. After the successful creation of pages, move to the Navigation tab. Click on Create Navigation button. Provide the navigation title. The next step is to configure the navigation and provide the right collection entries, like pages, and then save the changes. Go back to the main navigation and we are ready to link to the entries. And all the configured entries will be displayed here. Select the desired entries and click on Select button. Here we have the main nav. Make sure to save changes. We need to write the nav code in the resources slash views directory. Open the underscore nav.antlers.html file and write the nav code. You can loop through the nav elements by providing the nav in curly braces. In the curly braces of nav, provide the title in an anchor tag. We need to provide the partial nav in layout.answers.html file. After writing all this code, go back to the web page, and here we have the nav. Add the content in the entries like allowed us and contact us and save the changes. Refresh the website and visit the pages and you can see that the content is added successfully. The content is fetched from the default.antlers.html file. Statomic comes with four templates in resources slash views. Layout antlers.html. This file contains the basic structure of the website. Default.antlers.html. This file is the default template. Home.antlers.html. This file is the initial template. Errors slash 404.antlers.html. This file comes into play whenever a requested resource cannot be found. You can display the data that has been passed into your antlers views by wrapping the variable name in curly braces. And the variables of the respected file are in the content slash collection slash pages directory. We can write the YAML code in the YAML file and write the markdown in the .md files. In the YAML file, we can create variables, arrays, and dictionaries and access them in the antlers. Most frequently, we need to add the images in our websites. Adding the images in Statomic websites is super easy by accessing the assets. To add the assets, we need to go to the blueprints and select the pages. Click on Create Field and add assets field type to the blueprint of pages. After setting up, click on Finish and save the blueprint. On our page, we can see the assets fields at the end. Now click on Browse and select the image that you want to include. Now go back to the code file in the home.md file. It can be seen that image is added in the assets array. Create a variable for image and set the path. Bind the variable in source attribute of the image tag in curly braces in the home.antlers.html file. Now save the file and reload the page 
and image will be displayed. So this is how we can set up the simple Statomic website. Thanks for watching.